Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, I know the Summer Games is going on, and I could be doing a video explaining to you all the wonderful things about Summer Games. Well, in my mind, the events are self-explanatory. Hopefully, anyway. They were for me. Hopefully, you're like, oh, I know exactly what to do with these things. You can do them relatively easily. And I, wow. I don't know that I really like the Summer Games. To me, it doesn't seem that rewarding. I understand people are saying, oh, they're relatively quick. So, small amount of rewards. Okay. I mean, you're not wrong. At the same time, I don't mind doing a little extra if I get a lot of rewards. <clears throat> the larger meta... SMS 10 Enterprise Troy Shards? <laughs> it's almost not even worth doing. In my opinion, I guess. I mean, not even a not even half an unlock. <sighs> wow. Oh, and to spend heroic SMS. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. You want to participate in it go ahead me I have it. I don't plan to I don't plan on doing any of the milestones and that spend SMS sorry I know it's a lot of syndicate XP not even a quarter of a level up for me so I don't care but that's me you guys probably love it though it can get pretty expensive for what however many levels or quarter levels or half levels for your syndicate XP and then a quarter of an unlock for Hugh really? that's it not enough. So what am I talking about today? Well, obviously I have a bunch of crews up here and everybody recognizes this crew. I'm talking about Armada crews. Something that's been bothering me for a while. Notice it with several of my Alliance mates, yes. Dropping dimes out there. Won't name names, but it, it's who I notice Armada crews for the most. You know, I don't check people on other servers. It really bothers me that people are still running this crew. Five, six con. Really? You're still running this? Okay. Don't get me wrong. I am not calling you stupid. I'm not. Yet anyway. Partially because... Who knows where you've been, right? I don't know where you've been. I don't know what you're up to. I don't know how long you have to play. I don't know how long you have to watch content creators explain Armada Cruise or... The Alliance know it all to listen to their crew suggestions. I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. So until I do it myself, it's kind of wrong to call you stupid. But I give you all this information. You don't consume it. Well, then it's on you. Stop running this crew. This crew is no longer a good armada crew. If you're running like five or six ships, maybe it's the fifth or sixth best armada crew. That's probably it. It's way down there on the list. Though at the same time, if you're running five, six ships with an armada, four armadas, it's kind of thin down there on who you can use for a crew, but it's however. Really, it boils down to, it's not necessarily five, it's six and it's con. Six of 11, sure, it's a nice, he's a nice officer. Let's go pull up his ability for a minute here. When attacking an armada target, every time the ship hits the opponent with a weapon attack, 6 of 11 increases the accuracy, armor piercing, shear piercing of the ship by 40% at max tier of the total attack of all officers on the ship. Key there is increases your accuracy, armor piercing, and shield piercing. Just yours. That's why I don't like it anymore. Because there's something better out there. That's really why, I guess. Times change and better crews come out is really what it is. And con. Everybody knows con. Every time you get hit, you increase your critical chance by 5%. 5% was never really that much. But why it really worked is back in the day when we were running con a lot, we were in the 30s. How many slots did we have in our armadas? Four? Maybe five? You got hit by the armada a lot more. I got seven slots in mine. 
a lot of people in my line's got six. How many do you have? Does kind of depend, right? So maybe if you are still in the mid thirties, low thirties, five, six con isn't, it's still a good crew. Once we get up here at some of these levels, it's no longer a good crew. We've outgrown it just like we've outgrown Kirk Spot Con. Just no longer brings enough to the table. Just because you're not going to get hit that much. You got seven ships in an armada, and it only fires three weapons around. How many rounds are you going to go by where you're not even going to get hit? So, so why is Khan the go-to? He shouldn't be anymore. You know what the go-to is? And if you must have loot boost, this is the go-to. Cisco Miles 5. I'm shocked that I don't see more people running this. The best thing about 511 is her loot boost. Just an officer ability, not her captain ability. Captain ability's nice. It's not the best thing about it. So you can run Cisco as captain. And then you can run Miles on the side and five on the side. So man, this is a fantastic crew. Especially. Also notice I got a I got my Torres is maxed. It's okay that yours isn't. Even at 60%, she's still pretty good. Max Torres below. How many extra shots? And how much extra crit chance am I getting? And how much extra critical damage am I getting? Oh, and if you run it on an interceptor. You now get more isolytic damage because your opponent has hull breach. And that's just with what? Two bridge slots and a below deck ability. A below deck slot. You can easily slot five in over there. Easily. The only other change I might run, because with all the researches out there, do I care that much about loot? I mean, yeah, but at the same time. Do you? Would I rather run this crew and just annihilate the armada? Right? Depending on the size of your ship, you may need this to carry a level 60 armada for six other voyagers coming out there. So we're gonna we're gonna stop running 5-6 con. Cisco Miles is the superior. And throw five on the side. I don't... It's just shocking that nobody... Uh, no, other people have run this crew. I know other people have. It's just how... It's just shocking how little other people are. It's just odd. Now, as I mentioned, Voyagers, which is a huge thing that we do because of the Voyagers warp range or the NXO's warp range. A bigger player like, say, myself... We'll go out to the 60 systems and all these voyagers will come out. They'll run this armada. They'll run that armada. And, uh, and all these other armadas or whatever. I'm around. I'll carry them. I, I have no. It's not an inconvenience for me. I've done it before for other players. I've had players do it for me in the past. Yes. No problem with me doing it. I have none. I have no problem with any of you out there doing it for your alliance mates. kind of think you really should. It's almost your duty. But at the same time, I get very annoyed seeing some of the crews show up. And yes, some of them are 5-6 con. Oh my god, are you really sending 5-6 con to this level 60 armada? First of all, you're going to get your ass kicked. So con isn't going to do anything for you because you're not going to be able to take that many shots. And your ship is so small compared to the armada. The damage you do means nothing. You're not doing anything, especially if you're bringing a Voyager. It's, it just doesn't do anything. Okay, yes, the weapon's actually fire, but it's like, doesn't even scratch the paint. So what does your crit chance have to do with anything? Nothing. What does your increased piercing stats have to do with anything? Nothing. Nothing. It would be nice if you would bring something to the table. Call your attention to the... One below deck person here that is, well, what I want to say. Yes, I have a lot of people below deck here. There's really only one who's here for their ability, their below deck ability, and that's Neelix. 
burn. The target gets burned, 1% of their hull is subtracted. That's very useful to me if I'm carrying a level 60 armada. Or another player if they're carrying a level 60 armada. Because your Voyager isn't doing as much. Other things that may help. Gala. We all know her. Reduces the hostile's critical damage. Now at the same time, I don't know that that's really necessary. Some of these armadas, especially the faction armadas, their crit chance is not high. It's only like 10%. And their critical damage is not high. It's only like 150%. While it will do something, it's just not doing that much. So to appease you all wanting extra loot, and it's fine for you to want extra loot, Picard as captain with synergy. Picard and Troy equals 100%. 40 from Troy, 60 from Picard's captain ability. Now, where is your 5 of 11? Well, it depends on, you know, your officer acquisition. Is her ability bigger than 40%? Well, then if she is, do that. There's your 60 from Picard and whatever your 5 of 11 is. Could be more than 100%. Or, as you see, I have Jordy here. His ability, his captain ability is 50% and he only gets 15% from Synergy. So, while it's not the best option, it is an option. Now, let's come to really the next officer. I said Neelix with his burn. Hull Breach, I don't think, is something you should be worrying about if you're the, one of the ones bringing a Voyager and getting carried in an armada because most likely that big player that's doing the carrying, they're bringing the Hull Breach. If they don't, they're, you might want to go find some other player to carry you because it doesn't sound like they know what they're doing. You're going to want Hull Breach, so they're probably going to supply it. Because if it goes away, like if it's on your ship, if you die, guess what? You can't hold breach the target. So you might as well be on a big ship. But then because of that, they're probably not bringing burn. So you could bring some burn just to help with that a little bit. This other officer on the bridge. I like to call this character Founder. I thought that's what these uh, life form, this life form, because it's all one life form. I thought that's what they like to be called. Whatever. Let's call it Changeling Cure. Okay. What is their officer ability? Changeling Cure decreases armor, shield deflection, and dodge of the of armadas by 35% of attack, your officer attack, every time you hit it with a weapon. Essentially has the same effect as 6 of 11. Whereas 6 of 11 increases your piercing stats... Thus, making the Armada not mitigate as much of your damage. Changeling Kira affects the Armada and reduces the Armada's mitigation stats, thus making the Armada mitigate less of your damage. They really have the same end game as far as, you know, more damage to an Armada, but since this Changeling Kira is affecting the Armada, helps everybody, right? Six just affects your ship. Changeling Cure affects the Armada. So, everybody that shoots the Armada takes advantage of that. Now, think about this. If you got that one player that's carrying everybody and you got six Voyagers, maybe it's five, all bringing Changeling Cure. Or Founder. I would prefer Founder. Then what? How much are you reducing the Armada's mitigation? By a lot. I know 35% of your officer attack doesn't sound like much, but... That's what Harry Kim, Gorkon, Kang, and Crash are doing here. I got 352,000. Yes, maybe you're going to have less. 35% of 352,000 is more than 100,000. So 100,000 from one ship every time it hits, but multiply that by five, at least because five other are ships. How much mitigation are you taking away from the Armada? A lot. So... This is really what everybody should be bringing. Right? 
Oh, you especially on the Voyagers. Now, if you're bringing a bigger ship, fine. By all means, you know, run a more traditional Armada crew. Like Cisco Miles 5 or Cisco Miles. Change and clear. <sighs> Alright, I think I've made this video go long. Last enough. No, screwed that up there. I don't know what I was trying to say. But, well, I know what I was trying to say. The words did not come out right. Let me summarize this video and give you the cliff note versions. Stop running 5.6 Con. It's not as good of crew anymore. It can be good if you're soloing the Armada. If you're not soloing the Armada, it's just not that good anymore. It's just not, there's just so many other better crews out there. Like Cisco Miles. And you know what? You don't need a third combat officer. You can put five on the side. Yeah. Especially because, well, some people have Torres Max. Some people don't, and I get that. But if you're running Armadas as a group, you know what? Somebody's probably got a Max Torres. And you know what? If you're one of those lower players, and you want to send your Voyager out to the level 60 Feder uh, not Federate, yeah, Federation and Klingon and Romulan and big-ass Armadas, and you want to get carried because, I mean, that is absolutely a fine way to do things, you can get more loot from the leadership chest if you run a 50, I mean, not a 50, but a 60 rare or 60 epic. Maybe the uncommons, uh, maybe. But, yeah, but, I mean, honestly, the you know, the 50s, too, if you're down there at that level. The bigger the armada you can run, the bigger the leadership chest is. Well, you might need to get carried. It's fine. It's fine. I'll do it. It's fine. Make sure I'm in game. Like if I'm sleeping or something, then I'm sorry, I can't do it. But help the people out, okay? Run something on your ship that is going to help them in some way. Whether that be Gala or Troy is captain. Not going to help as much, but it will aid them in some way. Hell, for, I mean, at least <laughs> reduce their repair costs. That, that's helpful. Reducing the cost it takes. The cost, yeah, the cost it takes. No, or the cost, just say the cost. Not being concise enough. Get yelled at in school. Not being concise enough. Oh, well. Reducing my repair costs helps me. It does. Throwing a burner on there. Help burn the target. Get some of its hull down quicker. Absolutely. Absolutely it's going to help. Right? Changeling Cure. Think about how many ships are in an armada. They all have Changeling Cure or Founder. Let's say Founder. You can reduce the armada's mitigation by a lot. And you know what? Just because I know you're there for loot, go ahead and run Picard in 5. Depending on where your 5 is, I mean, what is she? Tier 4, maybe? So that's 80% from her, 60% from Picard, 140%. Hey, if you got enough room, throw the doctor under there. So what is that, 160% extra? By all means. But come on now. Come on now. Let me send a 5-6 con up there. Let me change link here. Stack a few officers for attack. Help me kill the Armada faster. Save me some currency trying to repair my ships. Comment below. What is your favorite crew to run for an armada in general? Whether you be the one carrying the armada, or whether you're the one sending that Voyager trying to, let's say, cheese the system and get those extra loot boxes, or the bigger loot boxes. What crew do you like sending on that Voyagers? Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, commanders.